He was saying that, uh, you know, he usually waits until he sees, like, little bait fish being chased. And it's not bass, it's crappie, it's just little, little chasers. And then he'll break out his jig and he'll throw around. So they go on little feeding sprees, little inside local knowledge. And I just saw that. I just saw one crappie come up and snag a little minnow. So I'm gonna flip around some of these docks. Here we go, baby. First crappie on. And it's a tank. Oh, yeah. Got him on that little jig, baby. No doubt, that's a keeper. I'm crappy in the box, y'all. I wasn't able to get any more off the dock, so I'm gonna keep going around. I'm gonna look for more docks like this that are enclosed, probably have a lot of brush down there. Um, but I'm gonna fish for bass in between. What's crazy is they're both spawning around the same time. You know, crappie come in a little bit beforehand, probably about three weeks beforehand, four weeks beforehand, um, and the bass kind of follow that, and then the catfish are after that. But um, they're right now in the same type of areas, so it's a fun time to fish for both. <laughs> Rushed it. Rushed it. I got a scale on him. There's another one right there. There's two on this bed. Or one is the females just aren't staying on. They are cruising off. Let's see what this fish does. Took them off. Oh, that's a big freaking fish right there. Oh, finally, we got a player. Here comes the jig. Oh, it's going in your face, fish. Mm -hmm. Yep, they do not like this jig, y'all. Mm -hmm. There it goes. He's got it. Got it. Right in the top of the mouth. Oh, these fish are bigger than what you think. Oh, oh my gosh. God, I thought that fish was two pounds. That's three and a half. Nice fish right there, y'all. And this looks like a pair, but they're not on the bed, if that makes sense. Females haven't been locked on the bed. Mm. Changing body posture, getting, getting more intense. Oh. 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 Okay, this might happen again. Go, go, not to. Good on that jig that time. Oh, my luck has turned around today. Dark, black, lateral line bass. Mm. There's another male fish. Couldn't get the female to lock on, but pretty one. Yeah, baby. See ya. <sighs> my luck's better. Yesterday, if I hooked one, not a chance I was gonna get it again. I'm gonna switch my trailer to this natural color because it is just a perfect bluegill imitator. Golly, what a better day. Getting the fish to bite. Like picking and choosing which one I want. Oh god! Oh, oh, side hook, side hook, side hook. Oh, that's not the way I wanted to do it. Come here. Oh, it's a big bass. Oh, 
Dago, it's a fat female. Oh, I got the female, but I just saw my line moving. And she must have had it and dropped it. Fat hay. Getting ready to drop those eggs, y'all. Eggs, see those eggs coming out? Check that out. The eggs of a bass right there, y'all. See them popping out of that fish. Let you go spawn. Oh, God, got him. Got him right there. On the glide bait. Holy crap. Oh, my gosh. What in the world? Oh, my gosh, there's another one feeding back there. Oh, holy crap, guys. I saw this bass eating at the surface. Literally just exploding like a bluegill or something. And I threw this glide bait out, out there and just freaking creamed it. It was one of those Weston glide baits I got in my MTB box. Whew, God, all these suckers are huge. They're all quality fish. That's like the size of the one that I'm throwing to right now. Okay, I'm ready to catch this fish now. You guys are too. There it goes. Oh, rushed it. Popped it. See, it's just, it's a different reaction. This jig, he really, really does not like it. Let's see how fat this fish is, man. One of these times, you're gonna pop it in your mouth. And I got you right there. Good fish. Fat fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got you on the jig. You ain't going nowhere. a little bit bigger than the one I caught on the glide bait. They're just fatty chunks, y'all. Fatty chunks, man. Okay, y'all, we're gonna let this beautiful, fat, healthy fish go. Give it a sniff. Smell kinda weird, maybe angry. And I'm returning them to the same areas. I'm not taking these fish anywhere. Go back to your bed. You did a great job. You did a great job defending. So that's all I'm doing, guys. I'm catching these fish off beds. I'm letting them go right there so they can go back. You know, that's the thing I always think about in tournaments this time of year. You catch all those bass on beds and then you take them out of the area, like, I know that probably can't be good for it, you know? Can't be good for the fishery. But this way, you can just catch them, let them go back, they'll spawn, and uh, in that case, the female wasn't even there. He was just defending. And they'll go back and they'll get bigger. Oh, there's some nice male fish out here. That one fell victim to the uh, to the white bug. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get the female. She was like six pounds. Not her down here. Did not. That's hurt, that is hurt. It's a, it's a giant, it's a giant. Oh God, she's got it, it's hurt, it's a giant. Oh, oh my God, look at the power. Oh God, this fish is huge. This is an absolute heathen. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. She picked up, oh God, she picked up my jig with the bandito bug. Oh, God, come here. God, you are huge. Absolute mammoth. Mammoth. Oh, come here, baby. Oh, yes. That is a freaking toad, baby. Oh, my gosh. That jig and bandito bug. Natural color. Absolute freaking hondo. Put you in here for a second, honey. 